Hello all. Today I'm going to be talking about uh, a different sound system that you can use in Linux. Uh, it's called OSS, which is uh, Open Sound System. That's what it stands for. And I'll tell you some reasons why I'm using this or trying this out or testing this and why you may want to um, try this as well. Uh, it doesn't have to be in Arch Linux necessary, if I mean necessarily. Um, you could try this in Ubuntu. So it says here in the Arch Linux wiki, uh, OSS, Open Sound System, alternative architecture for Unix-like and POSIX compatible systems. And it said OSS version 3 was the original, but it became proprietary in 2002, so that's where it also took over. However, in 2007, it became... Um, under the uh, Forefront Technologies, and it, it was released as source code and provided it under the GPL, General Public License. Um, installation is fairly straightforward in uh, Arch Linux. You just uh, pacman, sudo pacman s uh, dash s um, oss, and then you just uh, system d, system um, control enable oss, enter and uh, should start on startup. However, there's a couple things you have to do, as this mentions here. Uh, this will vary, obviously, on what uh, Linux version you're using. You have to basically blacklist ALSA, and if you're using Pulse Audio, probably the same. Uh, I got not really sure, so don't quote me on that one. Um, now, the reason I'm trying this is mainly be because when I record from the microphone that I'm using with the sound card that I'm using, uh, there's no residual um, scratch or static sound. And it's very flat, which I prefer. So there's no really audio coloring or anything, nothing fancy. The only um, audio manipulation I do, I add, is the um, normalization and... Uh, some um, removal of audio uh, noise, uh, noise removal, basically, in using um, Audacity. Uh, then they show you for users, it says here, uh, pre-application volume control, uh, lower latency due to everything running within the kernel, Linux kernel. Initial response time in audio applications is usually better. Uh, OSS always has sound mixing, also does not. Sound mixing is of higher quality due to OSS being more precise math in its sound mixing. Some legacy cards have better support. Maybe I'm, I fall under that category. I'm not really sure though, because it does mention HD audio, AC97 as also being an advantage, and for USB devices, I'm not using a USB audio device. I'm using just a off-the-shelf regular microphone. Better support for MIDI. So you want to check that. Now there are um, a lot of disadvantages, though. Unfortunately, I like this system a lot. Uh, you're going to run into uh, a lot of uh, problems with certain media applications. Not all of them. Um, uh, Audacity was fine. Um, I'm using SM Player uh, front end for M Player. It seems fine. Skype. Um, I guess there's a workaround for that. VLC, wine. Got to be careful with wine. That's one disadvantage. I never had much luck with it. And I, I, they go on and explain different uh, rates and settings and trays, applets and whatever. But I haven't didn't really have to go that far. Um, I'll show you here. Is I can zoom in. I forgot. There it is. This here, a little tough to get. Um, that's the uh, that's an LXDE. Even though I'm using XFCE, this that's an LXDE volume controller. So I right click on that. You go to Preferences, and you have to specify these settings. Driver is OSS. Default channel is VX Mix Zero Dash Out Vol. Default mixer is OSS X mix. That's actually a visual mixer. GUI, incremental 
you can change this to two, three, four, whatever. Dynamic mode. So that would be like if I uh, change the volume, you can see the little green. Oops. Level meter go down or up, etc. And the mixer itself is uh, can be quite, oops, daunting. Um, where am I here? Mixer. Here it is here. As you can see, um, the input from the microphone I'm using, you can see that the meter is right there. I have a 5.1 channel uh, surround sound. But it's uh, it's not digital; it's only um, analog. So I set this to multi-channel, and this is where it gets tricky. <laughs> is uh, this part here is configuring the different uh, outputs? Uh, it's trial and error, basically. And the way you do that, uh, you have to run a command line as well. Close this. I close this back down. Quit. And uh, open the terminal and OSS um, test. This might be loud, so. Okay, so it's playing back. It says the HD audio play front. So I can hear this uh, left and then right and then in stereo. And I'll go through the other channels um, when it's done. So I'll just uh, control C that. And you type in O S S I N F O info. It shows you what devices are using for your front or whatever, how many you have. It's just stereo would probably just be PCM0. But for the other ones, it's PCM1, 2, 3, 4, etc. And the microphone is uh, device uh, PCM7 in my case. That was a little tricky to set up as well. And as I said, some of the drawbacks are with uh, media, media, not not music per se, uh, certain media applications um, uh, in Xbox Media Center. It's a little tricky to set up. You can get it working though. And when you restart or start the system, you hear a loud pop if your speakers are up, fairly loud. However, uh, the advantage is for recording through the microphone and sound card that I'm using are worth it. Um, probably be better if you had like a separate uh, partition and a separate install, maybe Arch Linux twice or something, where you use one dedicated just using uh, OSS and the other for your multimedia, either Pulse Audio or Alsa. But I'm finding this uh, to be pretty good. Uh, music sounds fine. And uh, another downside is Google Chrome or Chromium will not play Flash audio. Uh, I have been looking around and just won't. Firefox will, right? Um, if you go to a YouTube, play a video, it plays fine. But uh, if you use Google Chrome, then you're out of luck, I think, so far. Unless you can find something on somewhere where there's a workaround. Or maybe there's never going to be a workaround. But I like this. So it's uh, open sound system um, for Linux and uh, if you're frustrated like I was with the, the uh, staticky input audio from your microphone and none of the fixes ever seem to work for you maybe you can give this a try you can always go back to also all you do is uninstall OSS if you wish and then just unblacklist this this uh, here this uh, specific um, command here so you can put a uh, pound side beside it or just delete the whole file whatever you wish so yeah um i just thought i'd mention that if like i said if you're having if you're frustrated with uh, some of the audio you have uh maybe take a look at this okay so that's about it for now and uh thanks so much for watching and we'll talk to you soon bye for now